We're going to finish in Japan because a powerful typhoon is heading in Tokyo's direction. As you can see from these latest animations, typhoon Hagibis is expected to make landfall on Saturday and Japan knows what to expect. This is what happened last year when Typhoon JB hit. Well, this is the storm's projected path, and while, of course, people's health and homes are the priority, this is a big deal for the Rugby World Cup. For the first time in the tournament's history, games have been cancelled. England, France is gone. Italy, New Zealand is gone. They're now considered scoreless draws, and because we're at the end of the group stage, that means Italy is out. The Italian captain, Sergio Priese, says it's ridiculous there was no plan B, because it isn't news that typhoons hit Japan, and... That's not unreasonable. Typhoons are most common in August and September, and the season officially runs from July to October. Let's hear the response of the tournament director. It's rare for a typhoon of this magnitude to, to cause this impact this late in the typhoon season. Um, we had robust plans, and as I say, um, the plans that we're implementing now are in accordance with our plans for the pool phase. We have a different set of contingencies for the knockout phase and, and whilst it's regrettable we've made we believe the right decision with with everyone's safety as the priority well you can see yokohama marked on the map here this is where japan and scotland are due to play on sunday it's a vital game the result will determine who goes through to the quarterfinals and of course the whole of japan is hanging on that the scots want to go through too if there's no game it's likely to be very bad news for Scotland. Uh, the Scottish team is saying Scottish rugby fully expects contingency plans to be put in place. They're saying they want to play this game. Ireland's game against Samoa, well, that's scheduled for Fukuoka away from the path of the storm, so we think that will go ahead. We'll get further confirmation from World Rugby in the coming days. Good evening. All eyes here in the Weather Centre are on the violent typhoon that is making its way towards Japan. It's already had implications for sporting events in this part of the world and it looks set to follow a very similar track to Farzai, which was another typhoon which struck Honshu about a month ago. Now, in terms of its strength, it's a violent typhoon, which is the equivalent of a Category 5 hurricane. So it's very powerful, it's very dangerous, and it's larger as well than Farzai. So, as I say, it's expected to affect a very similar area, areas which are still recovering after Farzai. So this could do even more destruction. The winds really are quite exceptional. Steady winds, and gusting winds up to 150 miles an hour. It's expected to bring two to 400 millimetres of rain as well as coastal flooding. The waves are expected to be around eight or nine metres high. So coastal flooding seems inevitable as well and a lot of rain to boot. So the typhoon Haggibis is what we're keeping a very close eye on at the moment.